What lengths would you go to to save someone you love? Would you go against a literal god? Plastic Man would. In a world where Superman has become a dictator, a group of young rebels dare to defy him. Move, move, move! Get back! What do we have? A terrorist group. They'll be close by. Got it! In less than a second, the Flash searches the whole park and rounds up the terrorist group. Here we go. Who are you? We are Opatrofs, ordinary people against the rule of Superman. No, we're not. Philip, please don't do this in front of... I'm sorry, but the committee hasn't agreed on that name yet, Alice. Superman. What is it, Cyborg? I'm watching the footage of the blast, and there were five terrorists. Five? There's no way one got away from us. These guys aren't exactly competent. I'll find the other one. What are you doing? Stay hidden! Shh! I can hide all of us if I can get you untied, but we don't have long. You've got less time than you think. Superman, our guy is a talking bench. I'm not a- I am no bench. I am your nightmares made real. I am chaos. Superman! Oh man, please don't hurt me! Please don't hurt me! Please don't hurt me! I know you, don't I? Are you sure about this? There were cameras! Too many people saw what happened. We can't allow a superpower terrorist to go free. You know who he is? Of course I do. He's Luke McDonough. Then you know what we're inviting? Yes. With the Opatrofs captured and imprisoned, they're taken to a top secret facility deep beneath the ocean. Warden, prisoner transfer. Luke McDonough. Welcome to the trench. He's coming! Keep him in your sights. Keep him targeted. If he tries anything, do not hold back. This is ridiculous. He's... He's more capable, more dangerous than you can possibly comprehend. He's here. Enter Plastic Man, a hero often dismissed as a joke, a mere clown among gods. But today, he's not laughing. He confronts Superman and the Justice League, calling them out as the tyrants they've become. I like what you've done with the place. We can't release your son. Of course you can. What's the point of being a despot if you can't abuse your power for your friends? Am I right? Up top! Superman is no despot. He's literally sitting on a throne. It's a chair. Well, that's a very big chair. Compensating for something? Oh, come on! Do you really all believe you're still the good guys? Look at you. He has an actual bad guy mustache. He's not even trying to hide it! I bet he twirls it every time he thinks no one's watching and laughs maniacally! Ha ha ha! We've heard enough, Plastic Man. You won't change our minds. What the hell is wrong with you? Considering all this started with the death of your kid, I figured you'd have a bit more empathy for... Plast, time to go. Yeah, all right. I'll leave you all to your delusions of righteousness. Plastic Man is then kicked out of the compound. However, he has a trick up his sleeve. What are you doing here, Barry? Clark's in a bad place. A bad place? Have you seen what he's wearing? You preferred when he wore the underwear? I preferred when he wore a smile. You remember this? He'll come round. It might take a while. It might be difficult. But I don't run from my problems, Plas. Ouch! Look, about Luke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Don't move. I might accidentally pull out something that you need. It's okay. Go to sleep. Flash! <gasps> Are you okay? Plastic Man's going after his son. He's not. Plas is good. But he's not going to survive the pressures of the deepest part of the ocean. He's not getting in. Vic, I've seen Plas do things I would have thought impossible. Humor me. Okay, that's four points of entry for this guy's abilities. He's not going to find any of these points by chance. Nope. He isn't. But luckily, you've just pointed them all out to me. The trickiest part isn't mastering the look of another person. It's stretching the vocal cords perfectly to mimic the voice. Luckily, I've had a lot of practice with Barry. Okay, I'll let the warden know to make sure McDonough is monitored. Yeah, you go do that, Vic. I'll go look for some tools to take with me. The Justice League, they were good times. I will never forget them. But before I was a hero, I was a criminal. 
And I haven't forgotten that either. Plastic Man flies to the location of the prison. He dives deep down to the bottom of the ocean. Hey! Hey. All B-Wing security. Report for feeding time in the mess hall. Mess hall, mess hall. Oh, wow. The prison hall buzzes with tension. Inmates lounge around tables. From the walkway, Plastic Man, disguised as a guard, descends into the hall, approaching an inmate. The two exchange a brief, intense conversation. A deal is struck. The inmate nods, understanding his role. Moments later, the inmate instigates a brawl, diverting attention and causing chaos throughout the hall. Plastic Man uses the distraction to his advantage, scanning the scene and proceeding with his mission. That's far enough. What the hell? Plastic Man, I was told to look out for you. I don't know how you got in, but this prison break ends here. Sure it does. The door is sealed. There's nothing you can do. The lock is impenetrable. And the guards don't have access to the keys. Hey, look! I found the key. With a touch, the impenetrable lock yields. But the alarm blares. Superman is on his way. The trench! Diana, Hal, Sinestro, to me! The prison is in disarray. Plastic Man stretched out yells, trying to stop the brawl. Nearby, he and his son notice a greenish mist. Gas? No, it's the Warden. Metamorpho. Oh, hi, Rex. Glad you're here, O'Brien. Clearly you belong here. You've saved us the trouble of bringing you in. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, Rex, but I won't be staying. I... <gasps> Plastic Man quickly distributes the stolen Green Lantern rings. As the prisoners put on their rings, the prison's glass walls crack. No! Sinestro, don't! The dome! No! Luke, turn on the belt! Mira Master's belt. Dang, now! Stretch out, Luke! Everyone grab hold! No! Go! Dad! Dad, come on! I can't move, Luke. Of course you can. But you know what I think? I think you like drama. I think some screwed up part of you would actually find it easier to sacrifice yourself here rather than escape and hang out with me. That's actually pretty insightful. Come on, Dad, let's get out of here. So that's it? We let all these villains escape through the mirrors back into the world? And Superman just keeps on being a tyrant? So, um, I'm not really one for speeches. I know some of you are like I was. Criminals, because it's what you know. But also, I know some of you are truly like nightmarishly evil. I'm trying not to ignore my responsibilities, and it would be pretty irresponsible of me to just let you go and continue being villains. My son was locked up for standing up to Superman, and, well, seeing as we helped you escape and stopped you from imploding, I'd really appreciate it if you focused most of your evil on Superman. Just. You know, do what you can to bring him down and generally make his life a living hell. Um, sure. Hey, thanks, Killer Croc. Look, if you really want, I guess we could try to stand up to Superman. Or, you know, we could just hide until more qualified people bring him down. That's my boy. 